If I compare the two diets after the vegan, I feel, I feel better, but in a different way than I did the Mediterranean diet. I did the Mediterranean diet first, and that was really good in eliminating processed foods out of my diet, high salty foods, things like that. Um, and I felt good. And I feel like the vegan one helped me take it to a new level where instead of just eliminating processed foods, I wasn't relying on the, um, on all the fats to be satisfied. I was doing it more with fruits and vegetables and varied nutrition. And I, I felt good after Mediterranean, but I feel even better after the vegan. I had a lot of weight loss, so that felt really good. Um, I'm also trying a lot of new things in the process. When I started this journey nine months ago, it was part of this new strategy or new, I guess, I don't know what to call it. I was gonna try to have new experiences, be brave, be a little more confident, try new things. And I have continued to do that. Like even just sitting here with a camera on me is something that's not comfortable, but I'm trying new things and it's so, yeah. So I'm trying, that's, that's something new for me is a lot of the education that I received from Dr. Barnard and the team here. I didn't, they didn't just throw us in a low fat vegan environment. They told us why it was important, why it's important for your brain, why it's important for your reproductive health, why it's important for your cancer risk, why it's important for your heart. They, solid science really helped me. The data was just as interesting as the food and the variety. I just, I, I learned so much. I've tried vegan on my own before and I didn't feel I had the resources and the information to really make those habits, to make a difference with those habits. They were so ingrained, but now getting the information along with experiencing the results at the same time, that's what I'm gonna take away and that's what's gonna help me keep going. I know that the group was really important to my success and keeping going and even when I had a tough week, I knew it didn't matter. The group was so supportive and it helped me a lot that other people were having the exact same struggles. I wasn't crazy. I wasn't weak. I wasn't <laughs> having problems with willpower. No, it's, it's tough at first to make these changes to 50 plus years of eating. And this group was instrumental in helping me realize that it's not just me, it's tough, but it it's worth it. And sometimes I had had tough weeks and I'd hear their successes and it kind of inspired me to keep going. <laughs> so that was really helpful. Yeah, I definitely couldn't have done it without the information provided by the staff and without the support of the group. The Mediterranean diet was easy to follow and it was delicious and it satisfied me. And it satisfied me, I now realize, with a lot of things like nuts and olive oils and the fish and a lot of these fats that are relatively healthy fats, but that's where I got a lot of satisfaction from, which is why it was so easy to follow. The vegan diet, turns out it took me a while to get used to being satisfied with fruits and veggies and grains only without all the other fats added to them. And that was a hard adjustment for me, but then in the end, I actually felt satisfied, but in an even healthier way than I had on the Mediterranean diet. Like my body responded better to the vegan diet. I'm gonna continue on the vegan diet because I feel better. I feel more energetic. I feel more confident. I feel, I don't have as much brain fog. I just feel better.